Hi guys, welcome to day four. I am eating my lunch. I have my cracked chicken chili, award winning, that I made. Um, it's about like 11, 11, 12. And I did a workout this morning at Cycle Bar. It was so much fun. I had time with the Lord. Um, and now I just have some things that, I have like three design projects that have to be done today. One of them is a worksheet for a client and I'm really excited to work on that. And I really wanted to get it to him by like his lunch break and it's 11.13 here, but he's in California and I'm in Indiana so I have time on my side. So I'm like, it's still morning for him. And then I have a custom order for Christmas I'm gonna be shipping out today and I'll show you guys the process of that. So I'm really excited for that. And then I've got some social media graphics to make for one of my local clients here in Indiana. And then I have like, I don't know if I can really share what I'm doing with this other client project that's like super tight deadline. So I'm like, it's go time. This is due tomorrow. It's a big project for me. It's just like one of those projects that like the pressure is on a little bit, but I'm like, I can do it. I can do anything. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls while I eat my lunch and do a little bit of designing. Um, but if you've been sticking with me for all these videos, I just wanna say thank you so much for being here and for listening to me ramble and talk about my day. And um, if you can't tell, I'm just like beyond excited for this. So I appreciate you sticking around to watch. Oh my gosh, after I cut, after I cut that video, my camera like went like that and dropped onto my desk. I think everything's okay, but like, oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, so I had to put on my blue light glasses because I feel like my eyes are like just getting red from staring at a screen because basically like for the whole past hour I was like just up in my screen. I probably need to take a break before my next uh, thing which is a meeting with a prospective client. I am uploading a final file right now for a client. It feels really good to get that checked off the list. Yeah, I'll do my prospective meeting and then I'll have a little bit of time in between that and my next meeting. I have two more design projects that are probably gonna take up the whole afternoon. I think I'm getting things done as quickly as I possibly can, but I just kind of started my day a little later today because I did like a workout this morning, so that's fine. So we'll see what I can get done. I just went through and really streamlined my to-do list for the rest of the day. I am only doing the things that have to be done. So it is two o'clock right now, which means I have until 3.45 until I have to go pick up Dolly. So I'm going to work on one project basically from now until then. And I'm gonna turn on some Christmas music and I might have like a little banana and peanut butter snack. I'm just gonna see what I can get done and what I can make happen. <laughs> client for potential logo and branding work and I'm like so excited I'm like please let me do it like let me make your dreams come true hmm. I just got another inquiry my second meeting for today I actually got rescheduled to next Thursday and I'm like thank you God um, because I really do need the extra time to work on this really big project that I'm like really intimidated by and like it has to be done tomorrow. <sighs> so yeah, so I think what I need to do so that I can have, I wanna have the rest of the day to worry about that. <laughs> I need to package up a custom order 
and then I need to respond to emails. I didn't do that this morning because I thought, you know what, I just need to like, I'm gonna mix it up and do emails like midday today. Um, so maybe I'll just do the admin stuff now and then have the rest of the afternoon to focus on this bigger project. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I'm trying to not laugh while I record this because my husband is making me laugh. But I am printing off this custom order to ship it. And it is like a Christmas piece. So I'm making five copies because it's going to be a gift for multiple people. It was so much fun to make this. I got to basically bring together a bunch of different elements of the state of Ohio that were special to this particular family. And kind of turn it into its own custom artwork that they can have to treasure now and forever. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I love doing custom work like this. It's a great way to kind of break up the normal work for me and have a burst of creativity. So here I'm just packaging up the orders um, using these clear sleeves that I like to put them in. And then I use some cardboard backing. Um, it's like an artboard, so it keeps the uh, prints from basically getting damaged in the mail. And then um, once I get all of those in there, I will add them all into the giant bubble mailer that these will be going into. But it can be a little bit of a tedious process, but I actually really enjoyed uh, packaging this order up. And I kind of wish that my hands actually moved this fast because it would take me like zero time to make these orders and package them up. But sadly, my hands don't actually move that fast in real life. Um, so here I am just about finished with packaging them up in those little slips. Now I'm gonna add it to the bubble mailer here. And well, the first thing that I gotta do is add my logo sticker because of course I love doing that. It just really makes it all come together when I have it all packaged up and put my sticker on there. And it just makes me feel very proud of myself. And I love how it looks. And I was just thinking about it. I was like, wow, I cannot believe that I'm doing this. It's just so fun. So now I'm finally putting it in the bubble mailer, adding some free stickers because why not? I love to put a little surprise in orders for people. And then I'm gonna add a sticker that is quite possibly the most important sticker. And the most important part of this packaging is the do not bend sticker. So it's really important that I put that on all my orders because they're delicate and they're paper. So anyways, I'm just putting some extra stickers on there before I put the packing label on and that's really all there is to it. I love packaging up orders in my office and then I will leave this outside my door in the morning for USPS to come and pick up. Okay, so to be honest, this project is like really um, stretching me creatively and I Oh my gosh, I am not 100% sure how I feel about where I'm at with the artwork right now. It's not due until tomorrow, but when something's like due tomorrow in my mind, it's like due today. Um, I don't know. I know I need to do this though because it's good to be stretched creatively. It's good to do things that make you feel uncomfortable, things that help you grow. So I'm just trying to trust the process. Up next on the agenda for today, just pick up Dolly and then I have one last call with a I have a call with a prospective client tonight at 5 15 usually I wouldn't take a meeting at that time but it was kind of the only thing that worked so and then I'm gonna edit this flipping YouTube video <laughs> hope you guys like these because it takes a lot of work this is the second to last uh, day in the life vlog because it's Thursday tomorrow will be the last one and I've got other YouTube videos planned for next week, but it just won't be daily. So that'll be kind of good for me and my sanity. I'm going to go get my puppy. I'm just absolutely convinced that I have the cutest, cutest poopy known to man. Look at her. She just wants to sit in my lap and I've got a meeting and I'm like, should I just take it with her? in my lap she's just the best she's all tired out from her training today look at that little snoot she just loves to cuddle yeah.